Well, the Enforcement Directorate has lodged a new complaint against Delhi Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival for his failure to adhere to the summons issued by him uh, to him regarding the liquor policy scam. The complaint filed at Delhi's uh, Rao's Avenue Court cites Section 174 of uh, the Indian Penal Court for non-compliance with orders from a public servant and Section 50 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act for not adhering to the ED summons. The court is scheduled to uh, hear the case on the 7th of February. Arvind K. Jival has been summoned five times by the Central Probe Agency as part of the ongoing investigation into the alleged liquor policy scam. Mr. K. Jival has chosen to disregard the summons, asserting that they constitute illegal efforts to apprehend him. Akshit, my colleague, joins us on the phone line to talk more about this. Akshit, in fact, uh, it's getting very difficult for Arvind K. Jival to dodge these summons anymore. The ED has gone to the court now. Well, yes, uh, Arvind Kejriwal is now facing twin challenges. Uh, now, because the ED has also moved in the Rouse Valley Court against him for not complying with the summons issued by the agency, uh, which uh, leads to a money laundering case um, in the now scrapped excise policy. And Delhi Police Crime Branch has, has, have also served him a notice regarding his MLA poaching allegations uh, against the BJP. And the ED complaint also comes, you know, two days after uh, KZ was kept the fifth summons issued by uh, ED for questioning in a money laundering uh, case linked to the uh, Delhi uh, liquor scam. And prior to this, uh, they, he has uh, received summons uh, on November 2, December 21st, January 3 and January 18. So in total, he has received uh, five summons and also also, very importantly, uh, you know, after a five-hour long, uh, five hour long drama, uh, Delhi Police Crime Branch uh, officer served a notice uh, uh, to the Delhi Chief Minister. And on January 27, Kejriwal and our Aman Party Minister Atishi also claimed that the BJP was trying to poach uh, party MLAs uh, in the next year's assembly election to topple the government. Uh, but the BJP had dared the Chief Minister to furnish evidence to uh, back his claims. And on Saturday also, a team of ACP uh, arrived at the Chief uh, Kejriwal's residence and insisted that they serve the notice uh, uh, to, to Mr. Kejriwal in uh, person uh, in his name uh, as the officials um, at the Kejriwal resident also uh, stood their ground uh, saying that uh, they were ready to take the notice and acknowledge it. Oh. All right, Akshit, important to understand uh, what kind of a stance are uh, Arvind Kejriwal's uh, lawyers putting up because as far as the information and the law is concerned, you know, if you tend to miss these summons thrice in a row, then an arrest is, uh, you know, imminent. Well, yes, uh, you know, uh, as of now, uh uh, the stance of the lawyer is not clear, but if we talk about the Aamadi party, then they have uh, clearly been saying uh, that, uh, that uh, you know, they also ask the officers uh, 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 about, about the notice which they were serving and under which law uh, they have been, uh, you know, insisting uh, to hand over a notice personally to the chief minister. And, uh, the, uh, and the Aamadi party leaders are saying that uh, the officers had no answers and they are saying that they are clearly doing a drama. Uh, so, of course, uh, you know, this has actually uh, turned into a political threat completely. Uh, and uh, we saw that Amadi Party and BJP were also uh, protesting in the national capital uh, just today, day back. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.